So I don't mention company names uh, on this particular presentation, but this is a company that has uh, locations across the country. They have about a thousand agents, and they're a Shortel Enterprise Contact Center, and they are a heavy Salesforce.com company. Uh, they do; an, uh, they're a, a web company. They do an incredible amount of marketing, and they receive an incredible amount of calls. Um, and the need is to be able to deliver those calls to the right person immediately, on time, every time. When I say the right person, if a customer is calling, that call needs to get to the, to the customer's sales rep ASAP. Or if it's a prospect, they are not yet a customer, and that prospect calls, they've got a very fine window to answer that call and address their needs. And so getting that call back to the sales agent that had been prospecting for that particular customer is important. Um, and so what we've done for this customer, we've implemented the shortelsalesforce.com call router. And there's a lot of different things you can do with that. That's basically doing a cloud-based database dip between the Shortel Enterprise Contact Center and Salesforce.com before the call even gets to an agent. And you can sp specify a lot of different logic. In this particular example, when the call comes in, we look at the caller ID, the Shortel system looks at the caller ID and queries the Salesforce.com database to find out what sales rep is responsible for that particular customer. If a sales rep is not indicated in the Salesforce.com account, then it will look at the sales rep that created the most recent activity. Perhaps it was an outbound call. Perhaps it was some sort of interaction with that prospect. If those two do not match, it will then look, refer back to the caller ID and route that call to a sales group that's responsible for those, that customer geographically. And this all happens before the call ever gets to an agent. Um, and again, this, is, this concept can be applied either to a Salesforce.com company or someone that has on-site data, um, other cloud-based CRM applications. The idea is, is understanding who that customer is, gathering information about that customer, not only to make intelligent call routing decisions to improve the customer experience and improve efficiencies, but also collecting data about that customer along the way and presenting that data to the agent when the agent answers the phone. So I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but they're also using the Salesforce.com call adapter where that account is, is visible, all of the information about the, that account is visible immediately when the agent answers the call. So they know if it's a prospect, if it's a customer, what interactions they've had with that particular organization, um, what, and in other examples, perhaps what their account balance is, what their sales revenue has been, all of that immediately available. Again, so they can provide special treatment to that customer. Also, this customer, our customer is using personalized agent queues. So perhaps I am calling into this particular organization and my sales rep is on the phone, but I can go to a personal queue saying, hi, this is Travis. My calls, your call is very important to me. If you'd like to transfer to another rep, press one. Otherwise, you can be on hold. I see that you're on the phone and I'll get to you as soon as I can. So providing a more personalized VIP experience for customers that are calling in. In addition to this, we're also using a lot of the inherent Shortel Enterprise Contact Center features like skills and priority-based routing. And Chris Riccio alluded to this earlier, to where perhaps I've got one type of customer that requires a very specific set of skills calling in. I can make sure that call gets to an agent that is equipped with those skills. Perhaps it's a language skill, perhaps it's a business, a line of business skill, whatever the case might be, and then priority routing. Is this a, is this a VIP customer? Is this the 20% customer that does 80% of my sales volume? Do I want to route that call ahead of others in queue? So by coupling data integration and screen pops, um, as well as the inherent skills and priority-based routing features within Shortel Enterprise Contact Center, we can provide those, those customer experiences that they're striving for. And as just a side note with this particular customer, I've been talking more about their sales and marketing side. Also on the help desk side, um, we're doing an integration with Zendesk. So we can route calls in and do a, a screen pop to the account so they can look at the case and tickets and things like that. The last piece before I move off the slide is reporting and metrics. And that's something that I think a lot of people forget about. Reporting and metrics is the, is the, the holy grail of contact centers. Uh, understanding what's happening within your data, within your organization, and 
one of the things that this particular customer is doing is they're taking the CDR, the, the Enterprise Contact Center call details, and they're pushing that back into Salesforce. So the organization can use Salesforce for a single pane of glass reporting, not only for the Salesforce data, but also the call data out of the contact center. 